What's up guys, it's Speed here, and today, because you guys got 3,000 likes on the last video, actually much more, I think we're almost at 4,000, we're back with another Guess the Rank video, I did not break my promise, I'm listening to you guys, on top of that, there's another request in the comment section where basically someone was like, oh Speed, you're spending a little bit too much time on each clip, and I agree, I think it would be better if I go over more people's clips so I can give information on different heroes and just basically have a little bit more fun with the episode, so that's what we're going to be trying to do here today, I want to say it at the beginning so you guys could hold me responsible, and also I want to hold you guys responsible to something, which is 8,000 likes. No, <laughs> that's a bit a lot, but if we could go for the 3,000 again, I'll make sure we keep Guess the Rank going. Because, you know, I'm not going to lie. I got a little bit bored, but we're back and I'm going to keep it going at least for a while now because you guys are, you know, giving a good response. On top of that, I also want to mention we have a very special guest here today. I'm with my friend Stars, a content creator for the Game League website. Welcome, Stars. Hey, thank you for having me again, Speed. Yeah, so uh, we're going to be having a competition. You guys might know if you've been watching the series for a while. We've done this with people such as CCNC in the past. And um, yeah. Oh, wait, Stars. We've done this before, haven't we? Yeah, my second time here. That's right. That's right. Well, now you are a content creator, which is cool. The transition over time. But yeah, let's get into the first clip. And quickly, I just want to mention for everyone who is interested and, and enjoys my Dota 2 content and is trying to get better, if you guys are Earthshaker players or Earth Spirit players, I'm making a new course every single day or a new video every single day, just like cranking for the Game Leap website. I'm putting in so much effort and you're going to get a ton of educational content that you simply do not get here on YouTube. So yeah, if you like what I do here and you have some extra money to spare, I recommend you click the link down below right now. Give it a shot and let me know what you think in Discord. All right, so the first person we're going to be following is Ray on the Pangolier, currently 8-1. I mean, this is the Game Leap classic we all have come to know and love which is people sending games where they are at least double the net worth of the enemy team by the three minute mark. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. So you're playing Pangolier. The first thing I wanna ask you, don't wanna spend too much time on the stars, but any opinion on the item build? He has two empty slots and one of those slots should definitely be a wand. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. I, I think if you're playing a fighting hero such as Ember, Pango, Bounty, any fast paced hero, you should have a wand. It's just kinda, it's kinda broken. But uh, yeah, getting into the fight here, great swash book with the cash from Rana. I do like your Vlads overall and uh, good roll here. Almost a perfect chain stun. I think actually, was that perfect? It was pretty close. Pretty close. Good yeah, squash Pokemon forward here. Is this... How is this guy in this? <laughs> Moonlight Shadow, I believe. Oh, okay, okay. That's right. Maybe some replay bug. Overall, I mean, that was a pretty clean fight. I don't... Honestly, I don't know if there's much I would do different there. Seemed like pretty good swashbuckles. One thing I would like to mention is that you took the swashbuckle slash range, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. On top of that, right after the fight, you actually return to the middle lane, which is great. Because if you guys are trying to play high tempo in Dota, very often you kind of want to structure your gameplay around the mid lane. For the simple reason that if you go mid, you can get to top or bottom a lot faster. It just makes sense if you're playing fast. But yeah, as I said, we're not going to be spending a lot of time on each clip. So uh, let's, let's guess the ranks after one clip. This is going to be harder for you guys in the comments as well. But... Let's, uh, let's get into it. I'm going to go first, and I'm going to say that this player really good spellcasting, right? Uh, it is a stomp game, though, so I have to be careful. I'm going to say that this is Ancient 3. What do you got to say, Stars? Uh, I think his spellcasting was also really good. I don't like that he doesn't have um, a wand and he has, like, empty slots. But uh, uh, the, the movement to mid right after winning the fight is, was pretty good. So I actually think I'm, I guess, a little higher than you at, like, Divine 1. All right, here we are, the first round. We're going to be keeping tally. Who's gonna win it? Speed or stars? And mm, Pangolier is Ancient Four. Oh, so wait, what did I guess? Ancient Three? God, oh, I, I'm having I'm <laughs> high belt timers. But no, okay, wow. So I win the. That's crazy. Oh wow, okay, I just barely beat you. Great star for speed. I, I have I won a single one of these guys. I don't think I. I honestly think I've lost Never every have. single. <laughs> oh, of course, you know stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get to the next clip. I almost missed this, but I, we go to your profile here, and he, <laughs> you're very clearly a smurf. I mean, your win rates are obscenely high. You're level 25, almost no matches. But the weird thing is your first match is 2016. Funniest part here is that I'm just, I literally look at your, your activity feed. I see, okay, you earned Ancient 4. You know, good for you. I bet it's a bunch of people like, okay, I don't even want to read that. <laughs> but then your second post is speed is secretly a weeb no matter what he says i bet he likes them i'm not gonna say the rest but what is this <laughs> i don't even know who you are what is this all right whatever we're gonna move on getting into the second clip we have mr theory on the specter and uh you know we have to know we're not gonna be looking at the landing stage don't worry guys i know you're panicking out of your absolute boredom of the landing stage but <laughs> uh you have no tangos which is kind of weird it's just weird 
Uh, you do end up rushing a, a, a what is it called? Ring of Tarask? Yeah, that item. And Ring of Tarask has really been falling out of favor right now, so this is like kind of indicative of lower MMR, just kind of following older trends, not really being up to date. Yeah, the item got nerfed pretty hard, and on top of that, I can't help but mention the fact that your Wyvern ends up leaving base with 600 total gold. Now, you know, I've been following Dota for a long time, and this is just not a thing, unfortunately. He does end up buying items though, so all jokes aside, you know, he fixed himself. He does buy four mangoes, which seems a bit overkill to me, but nonetheless, let's get into the rampage that is for some reason already on my screen. All right, getting into the fight, you have a kind of a weird item build. So we discussed this a bit earlier, me and Star, you rushed a defusal into a radiance, which is kind of weird because usually radiance is something you rush so that you hit an early timing with it, you know, it, where it's, you know, at its peak value, or you at least buy like a manta before it, so you can use manta radiance illusions, or you're at least tanky, you know, or, or uh, you know, can stay alive when you have this radiance. So diffusal in the radiance is kind of bizarre to me. Uh, you, you are farmed nonetheless, a bit low on the CS marker, but yeah, let's see how you approach this fight. One thing we did notice too is that you very often take maybe a little bit too long to use haunts. Very often specters also wouldn't lead fights like this. Like what I would kind of expect how you to play this game more in my opinion is to like go push in this bottom or top wave and then haunt in when someone charges, you know what I mean? But you're, you're leading in. Nonetheless, that's not necessarily terrible. You're going to tank a lot of damage. Haunt comes out. I would say an okay curse, maybe to burn out some timings. Do kill the really ogre. any illusions. Yeah, that, that's very true. Let's quickly go back to that. You, you haunted and didn't really jump to illusions. Um... Which is what Stars was saying. So you do pop it right right here. And then it doesn't really seem like you know who you want to kill. Which Stars, you would argue that's important, right? Yeah, when you're playing Spectre, you basically just always have to look at like your key primary target. The power of this hero is that you can always kind of jump that target. So clicking Haunted and doing nothing with it is pretty, pretty bad. For sure. It's a telltale sign that you don't really understand. I'm not going to say a fundamental of Dota, but a, a key aspect of fighting, at least with Spectre. Um, because you do end up going on this Ogre, which I would say is fine, right? Like, you can kill him quick, move on. But you could have done that at the beginning and then moved on to another target much faster. And that's how you get good at Dota. You play faster and make better decisions quicker. But yeah, you end up shredding the fight. So even though you did, I wouldn't say you really had target priority, you at least walked up and hit the nearby person. Which, at the end of the day, is good. But, uh, Stars, we're gonna be guessing from this one clip. You're gonna be going first here, because I went first the last time. But oh. you won. I mean, I'll go, I'll go. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, I'm definitely going to guess on the lower side. His haunt usage was pretty bad. His CS is not very good. His item build is really strange, especially the Arena Tarasque in the lane that we saw just a little bit of. Uh, I'm probably going to go... What, what's the what's the one before Crusader? Is that Herald? That is Guardian. Or Guardian. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go remember. Guardian 5. Okay, you're going to go Guardian 5. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I feel like his CS is pretty high and he has, like, mildly okay items. So I'm going to say that this is Crusader 5. All right, let's get into it, baby. Spectre is... Guardian 4. <laughs> oh, damn, oh, you almost got that exact. All right, respect stars. So the score is 1 to 1. I think we're going to do probably about 7 people here today. We did 3 in the last video. That is more than double. All right, we're going to do that. Next up, we're following Lucas Truman. Everyone go Dachshund. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm Relax. Don't actually... But we're gonna be watching Lich. So, uh, yeah, you pulled a bit of miss synergy there with the Tusk. You're gonna have to follow it up with the nuke. Um, one thing I really like is the fact that you have Tranquils and Windlace. I'm personally a huge fan of this. You know, movement speed is health. I said this uh, in a video a long time ago, and yeah, I stick to that. So we're gonna be seeing what you're doing. You guys are grouping up pretty early here. 14k lead. As I said, game leap special. You can't be 8k, you know, net worth behind and submit a game. Yeah, you're getting gone on here. Burst it. Was he out of position, Stars? Yes or no? I think he's out of position, yeah. <laughs> okay, so why is he out of position? Did he see them? There's the Monkey King bug we have coming to play. <laughs> tree yeah. expanded. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's not his mango tree, right? Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, so he paints the mango tree, and then he walks into full vision, and then just dies. However, they were smoked, so uh, you can give him a little bit of a Yeah, oh. smoke ganking. That that gives you like 3k MMR at least, right? I think yeah, so. Yeah, definitely. Uh, he's a wind lace and there's smokes. So and smokes. Easy. Yeah, and, and detection. And people are coordinating yeah, their damage. All right, all right, all right. We're, we're guessing. Guys, uh, we, I said I'm keeping it short. This is what you wanted, okay? We're guessing. This is going to be hard. I mean, it's no joke. We, we barely looked at anything else either. No, I'm not even kidding. Uh, but, but let's get into it. I'm going to guess first. I'm going to say that this is... I'm going to go back to what I said round one. Stick my guts, my roots. Ancient five. Ancient five when he's rushing in Aetherlands. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go legend five. 
All right. Oh, jeez. All right. There we go, baby. Lucas, what are you at, Lucas? Lucas is the five five. Oh, Lucas. Nah, I mean, maybe if I do really like this ghost after purchase. I like the fact that you're buying detection. You were synergizing with your teammates, you know, making plays around the map. So to be fair, like maybe we disagree with the, the Aether, but honestly, I think if I watched the rest of the game, like your movements, because we, we watched like maybe a minute before going into that clip there, and it looked pretty good, but let's get into the next clip. Oh wait, that means I win. Two to one for speed. All right, next up we have Creep Molester on the Morphling. He said specifically in the post to look at his 1v5. That's what he said. His quote, 1v5 in the Roche pit, gets a DD, taken Roche. We're gonna see what happens. Somehow the enemy team knows you're in here. I don't know, but let's see. So they go on you. You do have the BKB. He's gonna pop it. Waveform, I'm gonna assume on a four, comes across, immediately blows up the disruptor, straight up just auto attacking. Very impressive, Creep Molester. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> Very good. Great auto attacking. Oh, hits him with the all chat. Okay, question mark. You know, not gonna lie, stars. Just getting smurf premonitions, but we have to guess the rank nonetheless. We do. That's our that's what we're here for. So just based off that one clip, what do you think? What do you, what are you going for? Just off that one clip. Oh god, he really didn't do anything. He just kind of <laughs> right clicked. I don't even think he casted Morph, which would is like the impressive part about Morphling usually. But go ahead. Yeah, he really just didn't. He really. I mean, I'm gonna go off the fact that I think he's a Smurf, and most Smurfs are around Legend Five. <laughs> so I'm gonna go Legend Five. <laughs> okay. I mean, oh god, 24 and 0. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna say, do we? Do I? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna say that this is. I'm going on my Crusader meter. I mean, I, on my um. No, but they smoke yanked the Roche. Yeah, I'm gonna say that this is ancient too. Let's go. Three, two, one. <laughs> what is Morphling? Morphling is ancient one. <laughs> wait. Wait, wait. I was Legend Five. Oh, Holy and I said ancient two, right? Yeah. Oh my god. All right, I guess we, right, we got we got to do a deep dive here, you know. They just <laughs> get ancient one. This, wait, which one's he closer to? Wait, really? Hun level 105. Does have oh, Meepo in the profile. It doesn't look like it. What the heck? All right, that's where we're going to end the clip. Hey man, I mean, the new popped off this game. One thing we would say is we didn't love your laning. Like we briefly looked at it and you, you were doing a couple things wrong. So I would look at it if I was you, but uh, all right. Next up on the list, we have RGB. I think that, what is it? What is that? Red, green, blue? Yeah, red, green, blue. Red, green, blue. And uh, you're playing Rubik. First things first, uh, you're probably Herald because you have Arcane Boots and an Aether Lens. This is the classic support thing. I like, how does anyone still do this? You realize you can dissemble your Arcane Boots. I don't get it. If you were buying like a Lotus, I'd understand. It's a decent Lotus game. I can respect that. But that's not what it is. You're even buying Axe. I don't even know what you're going to steal. Like, Death Ward is okay if you can stay alive. But like, I'm nervous you're just going to get jumped by some PA or Bristle. But we're going to look at a fight here. Uh, breaking out. You do have a Blink Dagger. Are showing in Vision. Right off the bat. This concerns me. Right, Stars? I mean... Yeah, I mean, he's just full Vision with a PA. Well, yikes. <laughs> yeah, it's just yikes. Like... You don't have a single defensive item, which in my opinion is a disaster against the right-click lineup. Like, one of the best ways to punish these, hot, like, multi-core lineups is to buy defensive and kiting items. Because, like, right-clickers specifically struggle against that. It's pretty easy to kite them if you just have, like, Ghost Scepters. I mean, watch some of the Seeker matches. Like, they buy these in... Like, some of their supports just have, like, Ghost Scepter, Ghost Scepter, and then this TA who is 8k ahead can't do anything. Um, but, yeah, let's look at a fight here. So you're gonna get overgrowth, just casually chilling in vision, and you're gonna instantly die. Now, uh... You guys be, might be asking, Speed, why did you choose this fight? Because I thought it was funny. <laughs> but nonetheless, I mean, there is a good lesson to take out of here, right? I, I know this might seem stupid, but like, really, there is a good lesson. You're standing in vision as Rubik, and you have no defensive item, and you wasted 900 gold on arcade boots. So, uh, stars, I, I, we didn't mention also, last round was a tie, so we're currently 2-1. to one. Speed is up, right? Speed is up. That's pretty good. I'm gonna guess here. I I'm gonna say that this is... I wanna say Archon, but I think it's the one below. I think this is Crusader 3. What do you think? That was exactly what I was going to guess, actually. Oh, really? My my The biggest giveaway for me is the fact that there's a Medusa, a Bristol, a PA, an AM, a Drow, and a DK all in the same game. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the SEA so, classic. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess even lower. Maybe I'll just go Crusader 1, I guess. All right. Star says Crusader 1. Speed says Crusader 3. And your boy Rubik is Crusader 1. Wow, I gave you that win, Let's basically. Go. 
Oh, okay. Let's go. All right. <laughs> so we tie it back up at two to two. We're gonna do one more round, right? I mean, this this is great. It's two to two. We're gonna be doing one more final round. Let's get into it. And last, to finally break the tie, we have Corona Go, which I guess is an app or something, like Pokemon Go. To break the tie, it's two to two, speed versus stars. We're gonna be looking at Ember Spirit gameplay. And right off the bat, I'm confused. I'm confused. Why am I confused? You might ask. Speed, why are you confused? It's because you have 77 CS, which can be okay on Ember. You can play Ember like a tempo controller. You can run around the map, never hit a jungle creep, and focus on only lane creeps and creating map pressure. That's fine. However, if you're gonna do that, you really want high tempo items, such as magic wand and a bottle, because Ember has mana issues. I don't care that you have a faded brooch, you need these items, right? Otherwise, you're simply hindering yourself. There would be no high MMR player that would ever disagree with me on this, and for good reason. Like, stars, would you disagree with me on this? Definitely not. <laughs> That's right, guys, definitely not, all right? I've got on my echo chamber of one person, so clearly I'm right. Nah, but in all seriousness, we're gonna be looking at a team fight breaking out here. I really do wish you had some sort of item like that. I even would have been cool with seeing you go some sort of like Vessel Radiance build against their team comp. But nonetheless, you mess up slight change to start the fight. Not a good look, okay? Not a good look, but we'll see if you redeem it. So target priority here. I kind of would like to see you go on the Naga, right? I feel like you either needed to auto attack that guy a lot earlier or go on the Naga. Now dying is just whacking a ward as a team fight is going on, being like... <laughs> hey guys, I'm dewarding. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I mean, no, I was told, guys, by Corona Go to watch this fight, all right? You can't blame me, say, Speed, that was such a dumb fight. I was told to watch that, all right? Not my fault, but we're supposed to guess off that. You are buying a Crystalis next, which I can respect. I actually do like this, you know, this version, of the, well, this part of the build. Don't like everything else about it. Uh, you are farming more lane creeps. I feel like you could have just ended the game as you guys are, you know, in classic game league fashion. 18k ahead at 19 minutes. I literally don't think there's been a single game where they weren't 10k ahead at some point. Uh, but nonetheless, this is where we're ending the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's been a great battle. Speed has yet to win a single guess the rank. This could be his day. And yeah, so let's guess the rank. I believe um, I went first last time, Stars. So it's yeah. your time. Yeah. So I wanted to mention a couple things that I saw too. He missed his chains. He wasted a remnant. He didn't leave a remnant before he TP'd. And then that on top of all the things that you said, Dodge that though, that was kind of cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he, his item build is uh, not the worst. Like it's kind of meta, you know. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go like Legend Five. I think. Yeah. Still casting not the greatest, missing some items, but kind of meta items. I agree with you. I really do. I really do because it's like you're so close. You know what I mean? There's like so many good things going on here, but then there's just like these huge mistakes that can throw a game and you know, they're a bit hard to realize. You know what I mean? Like the things we just mentioned, not missing slight chains. Anyone can see that. But like not leaving a remnant and not buying a wand when you're playing high tempo. Like it's not necessarily that clear. I, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, Star says Legend 5 and uh, this is for everything. Me and Star's bet at least, what was it? What was our bet? $500 each on this episode. So yeah. This is for roughly, a lot of money. Roughly 500. roughly 500, right? We won't tell. But I'm gonna guess. Do I legend four? Is that I'm not allowed to do that. We're gonna go for legend, legend three. <laughs> and Corona Go officially to break Speed's hopeful losing streak is Archon Five. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Finally, I hope this isn't a Smurf. Doesn't look like it. Uh. Uh. uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, uh, Looking kind of like a smurf there. I don't care. <laughs> give me my, give me my five hundred dollars, stars. All right. Hey, Game leap. You guys have to hold them accountable to this. All right. If he doesn't, please start a Reddit thread. Stars owes speed five hundred dollars. So yeah, is there any uh, any final remarks you want to make, stars, before we end up the episode? Uh, no, not really. Thank you so much for having me again, Speed. Always enjoyed these. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. And if you guys enjoy these as well, I recommend you like and subscribe to help our channel grow and to let me know that you want to see more of these guest to rank episodes. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Before you leave, just want to say a quick message. If you're trying to get better at Dodo or you just enjoyed that video, uh, I know this is pretty general and you're going to hear this quite a bit from me, but I recommend you sign up to GameLink.com. Why? Because I put a lot of effort into the content over there and generally the effort I do there is different from the content you're going to see here on YouTube. It is different. In fact, I usually go a lot more in depth on topics or into niche topics that help you get to the next level even faster. Because on YouTube, I, I often have to keep it more mainstream. And that's even why I'm putting it at the end 
of this YouTube video. That's why this is at the end because a lot of people just watch five minutes, they skip through just for like the dopamine spike. But if you are interested in actually getting better at Dota, I recommend you go to the description down below, get your discount right now by clicking the link, sign up, use the discount code that you're gonna see there. And I hope to see you there right now. So click it and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.